Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. Today we are gonna be doing one final mowing on our two acre field here out in front of the house. And anytime we do this video with a finished mower out here on this field, we always get the comment, why do you spend so much time, energy, money, and fuel on maintaining that field? Why not just let it grow up, lease it out to a farmer and let them either graze cattle on it or uh, cut it for hay? And the reason is because we use this field. 360 days out of the year we don't, but there's roughly about five days out of the year we do, and I think it's worth every penny. I'll show you some clips of what that looks like now. <laughs> we So we were at the Paul Bunyan show a few weeks ago and we got to meet a lot of people who watch our channel. And I always like to ask people that I've never met before that watch the channel, what is it about our channel that you like the most? What videos do you like the most? Because we do a lot of different things. We do excavating work, we do firewood stuff, we do a lot of pond stuff. And so it helps me make better videos for you guys if I know what you guys are into. And one thing that came up more and more than I thought it was going to was our dedication and love for winter around here. And as I showed you in those clips earlier, that is one thing that we really enjoy. Uh, we don't just sit inside all winter long. We actually get out and play in it and I love it. And uh, so with that said, this is the first step on this two acre pond. In preparation for all that fun stuff this winter, we've got to spend some time on the field now. So if you look behind me, we uh, brush hogged this probably about a month ago. The grass is pretty much done growing. And so what I want to do is just give it one final knockdown 
Uh, so that way, when it does snow, if we only get, you know, six inches or eight inches of snow or something like that, we don't have grass poking up through. It'll be a nice sheet of snow going down through here and we'll be able to get our sled riding in. So yeah, like I said, we got to start preparing for January now in October. Well, there we go guys the sled riding hill for the winter of 2023 is all finish mode and ready for snow if anybody's curious we've had this toro titan max now for two years i think i just checked the uh hours on it and we are at 92.5 hours so we put just shy of 50 hours a year on this mower and we haven't had any issues we did the service for it in the spring uh the only small problem that we've had is we have a slow leak in this front left uh, caster tire there, but that's not that big of a deal. I just need to get it patched up. But yeah, I think that's gonna about do it for our fall foliage here. Early fall, everything is nice and bright and crisp colored. And as we get more towards the end of fall, early winter, everything starts to brown out and then the leaves fall and then it gets really dark and gray and dreary around here until the snow comes and then that's always fun. But uh, yeah, we're supposed to get about a quarter inch of rain tomorrow, which depending on how much wind we get, will probably bring down the rest of these leaves and fall will pretty much be over. And then we're just waiting on snow. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this one, give us a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.